Welcome, everybody. Um, why don't we start by sharing a little bit about why you're each here. Life was perfect. I had two beautiful children and a husband I adored in a perfect little town. Of course, my friends always imagined I would have a career, be a dancer. But then I met Zeb and I fell in love with his dream. He wanted to move to the country and change the world one soul at a time. Lexi, you want mustard? Yes, please. Hey, Jaren, show us what is your trick. Mm. Come here, girl. Come here. Here. Good girl, now. Huh? Go get me some water. Come on, go get me some water. Oh, are you gonna get some water? <laughs> 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 That's fantastic. You better get going or you're gonna be late. Our kids late? Never. You gonna take us to school today? Nope. Walking is good for you, it keeps your energy flowing. But if you don't take us, we'll be late. If you don't hurry, you'll be late. All right. Bye, Mom. Bye. I don't. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. See ya. <laughs> How about some sweet stuff? Kids aren't even out of the yard. No. Oh. <laughs> Where those hills are. Whoa, whoa. Daddy, I forgot to get you permission for the bullshit today. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Reverend Williams. How are you? Rose. I brought somebody special for you to meet. Carl, say hello to Reverend Williams. Hello. I'll go have a seat over there and I'll see you in a minute. You know, last year when I placed Lexi with you, she just blossomed. So I thought about you for Carl. What's his history? Well, he's been in foster care for a while. So he is going to need some guidance. But he has never had Christian parents. Carl is kind of headstrong. And he ran away a few times. But he is so smart. And really, he can be so sweet. He does deserve a chance. And if anybody's going to touch his heart, it's going to be you. May I help you with that? I'm very glad you could join us today. You like dogs? Yep, and they like me too. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come get it. Does everybody get enough? Hey, Carl, wanna play? Oh, I do. That little boy can eat. Hey, Carmen. Hey. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you think about Carl? He's adorable. Very polite. <laughs> He's like a little old man who's much older than 11. <laughs> but what do you think, think? <laughs> no. <laughs> do Tell me you're not thinking about adopting again so soon. <laughs> Baby, look, we always dreamt about having a house full of kids. Look. <sighs> I 
intersection. <laughs> but Seb, I don't know that I can take care of another child and give all the rest of you what you need, too. Baby, and look, I know that God has given you a lion's share of patience and love. I mean, all I'm asking is that we pray on it. Can we do that? <laughs> And while we're asking God, let's not forget to ask the children. Of course. Welcome home, son. Hey, welcome home, buddy. <laughs> welcome, Carl. Let's go have lunch. Okay. We had fun fixing your room. I hope you like it. Should I call you? Mom and Dad works. For you. Carl, buddy, come here for a second. My father gave this to me. And he worked on it for hours. You can play with it, too. Do you like trains? It's a little complicated, so ask me or Jaren for help for a while, okay? Everything looks beautiful, baby. Yeah, Mom. So, Jaron, lead us in prayer? Um, how about Carl? He hasn't done it yet. Carl, would you like to say a prayer? No, thank you. Come on, buddy, just say grace for this meal, that's all. <sighs> <clears throat> oh, Lord, please bless the food we are about to eat. Please bless the children in Sudan. We have plenty, they have nothing. They have bloody ulcers and flies with skin that hangs from their bony arms. Most of them will never get out of the hell they live in and will die of terrible diseases. I ask you, Lord, please end their suffering and let them die in peace. Amen. 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 Thank you, Carl. That was uh... freaky. Jaron, let's eat before it gets cold. <laughs> so, Mr. Jaron, how's school? Well, the kids are already talking about the homecoming dance. Oh, really? Well, that sounds fun. Have you thought about who you want to take? Maybe. Maybe. He doesn't know how to dance. Hey, that's not true. Yeah, right. That's why you haven't asked out Carmen yet. Uh, I heard you. No, all you heard was the voices in your head. <laughs> 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 well, actually, you two, your mom and I used to dance before I became a minister, you know. Uh, so we can teach you. Uh, Dad, no. <laughs> no offense, but I don't think anybody's really doing the funky chicken anymore. But oh, oh <laughs> puppy, wait a minute. <laughs> now let us get done with this meal and we're going to show you a few things. Uh, okay, well, bring it on, old man. <laughs> 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 Look and learn. Oh, here we go. Right. You ready, baby? All right. Do it like we did. Wow! <laughs> 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 
Good book. My mom gave that to me. Then it must be very special. How's it going for you? When can I do the things the other kids do? You're younger, honey, so it may never seem fair. Okay. Oh. Mm. Good. Sleep time, sweetheart. Oh! <gasps> Sorry, Mom, I did that oh. on accident. Oh, oh Annika, what did you do? Uh, I was kissing Carl goodnight and he, he hit my nose with his head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not as bad as it looks. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry, that's gotta hurt. I'm okay, really. Oh, uh, whatever you do, do not look in the mirror because your nose is about to swell like a prize fighter. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Hold don't up. make hold me hold laugh. Up. I think I'm getting it. Oh. Look at you. My little hoop. Ow! Oh, shit. <laughs> sorry. Hi, honey. How was practice? I don't like coach. I pitched good, but then he stuck me in the outfield and put some jerk in my place. Everybody has to try out different roles. I'm sure you'll get to pitch again soon. Nah, coach just likes him better than me. You being a little dramatic, Carl? Carl, stop it! I understand that you are frustrated, but I will not tolerate this kind of behavior. I want an apology from you right now, young man. Sorry. Now go to your room.
What do you want for lunch? Don't know. Not for now. What will you want to eat later? It's a simple question, Carl. Carl? What? You know what? Pick it up and apologize. Carl, I know that you would rather be outside playing, but if we work together, we can be out of here soon. I'm too tired to fight. Jerk. Carl, come on. So weird. I'm sorry, can I write a check? Yeah, that's fine. for that language. I'm the best player on the team, and you stick me in the outfield. It's not my fault we lost. One team wins, one loses. That's baseball. Screw this crap. Carl. I apologize for our son, man. He's got some anger issues. <laughs> yeah, but we're working on it. OK. We'll see what we can do, too. All right, thanks. I'm so sorry. What happened out there? I wanted to impress Mom so that she'd be proud of me, but Coach ruined it. Son, you don't have to impress Mom. She's always mad at me. I just want her to be... I just want her to like me. Carl, your mom loves you. We all love you. Yeah? Okay. Look like you're pretty mad at those plants. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Were you? Mm. Better. Sometimes it's just hard being a mom. Yeah. Mm. 
So, babe, I heard from the bishop today. And he's asked me to go to Chicago to help with a seminar that he's presenting. But if you're too stressed, you know. No, no, that is an honor to be asked, love. I don't even think about not going. Are you sure? Of course. Carl just needs a little bit more attention, that's all. He's a tough one, but we'll be just fine. I would have a show like Oprah. Cat's I would skin. be the host of it. You want to hear that? You want to hear that? Shh. You're playing games. Fine. Quiet. Jeez. <laughs> Man, Dad would skin us alive. You saw what we're doing. Why? We're Baptists, geek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on, let's go. Okay? Go. Yes. Come on, man. Keep going. Come on. Hey, cheating isn't okay here, man. Neither is playing cards, but we're doing it, aren't we? Come on, put it back. Screw you. Mom, Charles, trust me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, watch your mouth. Picking on me, just like everyone else does. And that freak is possessed. Tell me about it. Come on, let's play. What the hell are you doing? Helping. Stop! I don't need your help! That's not how it looks to me. Get the hell out of my room now! You watch how you talk to her. Why do you feel you need to do something like this? He is really messed up. No, you you stay and finish what you have to do. I, 
I've got the name of a therapist, and, and he's going to be fine. We're good. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Thank you, guys. You two are so good. Mom, we gotta send him back. Jaren. You're so mean. Hey, you didn't have to clean his shit. You don't know what it's like not to be wanted. Lexi, you're normal. He's an asshole. Mom, um, Jaren curse. I have ears, Lexi. Look, I am so sorry. I know this is a lot to ask of you. But God doesn't give us more than we can handle. Carl needs us, and I need you to keep being a big brother to him. Can you do that? Yes, Mom. No, no, no! I want to go! Emma! Emma, stop that! I'm so, I'm so sorry. Could you come home with us? <laughs> Just be consistent, Chris. And don't forget to breathe. Thank you so much. Too much sugar? Now that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Come on in. Thank you, Carl, for sharing. Would you take a seat in the lobby? I just need your mom for a few minutes. Sure. Okay. It was a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Cutler. Oh. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you, too. He is a lovely, intelligent boy who is just having a hard time adjusting. It was so easy. With Lexi, I guess I wasn't expecting Carl to be so challenging. He hates me, and he seems to get along just fine with my husband, who, by the way, seems utterly charmed by him. Well, he's going to keep testing you until he feels secure. But with your love, he is going to be just fine. Kids are resilient. Lady? Lady. Lady, come here. Lady. Lady, come here. <sighs> Fucking bitch of a dog. Yeah, just a minute, dear. Have you seen my dog? She's a black lab about so big. Lady! Lady! Good night, hon. I love you.
Why are you so smiley? The weather, Jaren. It's such a beautiful day out, don't you think? You know, you could at least pretend to have some sensitivity. I mean, we just lost a family member. Family member? We're all here. No one's missing. Carl, the lady was very important to us. The dog? But, Dad, we can buy one exactly like her tomorrow. Yes, I'll help you. We can get a smart one this time. She's not replaceable, you jerk. Jaren, we do not talk like that. the door locked on me. Carl? Carl, come on, open the door. This is serious. This is not funny. This is not happening. Jaren, in the basement, I'm locked in. <sighs> what happened? What the hell is wrong with you? Why, what's going on? How dare you leave mom like that all day? Seriously, bro, your mom's got issues. Hey, get off of me! Look, if you want to be a part of this family, then you better change your attitude, punk. Lay one hand on me again and I'll make you pay. Take your best shot. You're the asshole with issues. No, he swears that he wasn't home and Zeb believes him. I think we'd better get you on some antidepressant medication. Me? Just take a deep breath, Annika, and calm down. You're overreacting. We'll get you that prescription. I'm sorry, I gotta get this call. You okay, sweetheart? It feels like you've traded us for Carl. Baby, that is not true. I love all of you, but he just needs a little more time to settle into our family. Lexi and I are not gonna wait around until you and Dad do something about him. I did what I could. I tried. You know what? I'm done. How would you feel if I gave up on you? He's not your real son! I am! This would be so cool. Yeah, way cool. Glad you're helping me, Dad. 
You bet. Just promise that you'll put it away when you're done. Yep. I will. Ah. You okay? What is that? I, I don't know. I, I... Carl, how did you get those? I don't know, Daddy. Carl, if somebody did that to you, tell me so I can do something about it. Are you happy I'm here? Of course I'm happy you're here, Carl. Are you happy to be here? Sometimes. When you're around. Dinner's ready. What's going on? We'll talk after dinner. How's everything going for you with Carl? He's hateful towards me. You don't believe me because he behaves with you. He has terrible bruises on his arms. I cannot believe what you are implying. I'm not implying anything. Except that maybe you need a little patience. He's a scared child. You see him from your perspective, but you don't know how he's feeling in this house. I don't love him. You're just scared. So you don't feel love right now. What if he's so damaged he'll never change? I'm sure my foster parents were often upset with me. When I was a teenager, I scared the daylights out of them with my wildness. If I can change, he can too. Carl, everything will get better, I promise. You know what? I just had an idea. Let's go get some ice cream, just you and me, baby. <laughs> Let's go! Well, gotta love it, you know? It's ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? It's, it's, a, it's a classic. It's an American classic. Is it? I think so. I think it was originated in America. <laughs> You like ice cream? You like music? You like? I like music. Yeah, what kind of music do you like? A lot of stuff with percussion. Oh, bongos. Yeah. You yeah, okay? Are you a bongo player? Yeah, I am. You know, I I'm, I'm really skilled okay. with percussion. I've got I've got these these magic hands. You know, that, that can like <laughs> pick up percussion and all this stuff. I work a bongo solo into the choir. How about that? Well, I could also, if I don't have bongos, um, also. Very skilled with the spoons. Mm -hmm. You know? Let me oh, show you. Play the you. spoons? Yes, I play the spoons. You gotta be like. Carl. 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 Carl, come sit with me. Carl.
Carl. Carl, 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 come on. Carl, come on. Let me. Come on, come on. Give me this. Give me this. Come on. Come on, we will come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I was waiting for you to get tired. <laughs> Sorry, Mommy, I tripped. Just go. I need you to show me Carl's records. Excuse me? You? Rose and this whole damn organization have destroyed my family. Mrs. Williams. This child that you brought, he does things, these, these crazy things. Let's just sit down and talk about this, Carl. I don't want to sit. You tricked us into taking a damaged and dangerous child. Has he been violent? Why don't you tell me? Has he been violent? Or are you just waiting for one of us to end up in the emergency room? There was limited information available before Carl was placed. And? We have guidelines. I don't care! I'm sorry, Mrs. Williams. But I can't help you with this. Daddy, do you think she knows? Oh, we're too good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is he? If you're referring to your brother, he's in a study group with his friends. What friends? He doesn't get along with anybody at school. Well, he must be starting with somebody to get the grades he's getting. Oh, cheating. Guys, give it a break. Today is about your mom. Hello. Hey, How are you? I'm good. How are you? Come on in. 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 Hey. Good to see you. How are you? Thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 Well, you don't know what you're getting. Lee. Lee. You two are really... You two are saints. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> and today, we celebrate the 10th anniversary of Annika's 29th. Right? Yes, that is the spirit, exactly. Yes. Oh, 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 Carl's oh, coming. Oh, she's coming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where's Carl? Where I forgot it's my I forgot my birthday. <laughs> Why you're at it? Forget ours too. Oh, All of ours, old. yes, please. <laughs> Happy birthday! All for you. Happy birthday, Mama. Mommy, I love you with all my heart. Carl. Aww. You undid yourself, son. Oh, <laughs> Let's move into the other room.
look terrible. Are you okay? I think Carl killed Lady. Why would you say such a thing? I just know it. Please trust me on this one, Zeb. Annika, I cannot even fathom the idea of Carl hurting anyone. Zeb, we don't know anything about Carl. He is like a boarder in an old-time boarding house. He sleeps here, he eats at our table, but we don't know anything about him. He's adjusting. We're adjusting. Adjusting? This is so way beyond adjusting. Baby, you are overwhelmed. Call him down here right now. No, I'm not. I mean it! Carl, come down here, please. Your mother and I have been talking about how much we miss Lady. Yeah, sad. What happened to her anyway? We'd like to know that too. Why ask me? Daddy, why is she picking on me? Actually, Carl, we would both like to know. Did you hurt her? You just don't like me, Annika. That's what this is all about. I just want to know the truth. Daddy, you believe me, right? Yes, Carl. I believe you. Can you go upstairs, please? I can't believe the one time I ask you to support me and you can't give it. No, I'm... Don't touch me! Monica. Can I at least have a little privacy? Fine. Don't speak to me now. I remember you from Dr. Cutler's office a while back. I remember you too. How's, how's your son doing? Oh, he's, uh, he's not well. Your daughter looks happy. It's been a long road. Thank God we caught Emma early. 
That's the key. Was that because of Dr. Cutler? N no. Here, call Elizabeth. If anyone can help, it will be her. Dr. Cutler meant well, but honestly, she's one of the many that didn't diagnose Emma properly. Thank you. And don't lose hope. Had a pretty rough time lately, haven't you? Zeb wanted to come, but I asked him to wait. Because I think that I'm losing my mind. You've reached out for help. That's pretty sane behavior. Okay. Now, everything that you've told me about Carl, it's possible that he's suffering from reactive attachment disorder. What is that? When a baby's traumatized within the first 33 months of his life, it can affect his ability to love. And we diagnose RAD children by examining their mothers. Why? Well, with most illnesses, moms are sad, worried. But with reactive attachment disorder, they are just royally pissed off at their children. They tried so hard to love him. I know. And I wish I could tell you that love heals all, but with these kids, it's just a starting point. What do we do? Well, the first thing is to get his medical records from social services. I tried. They they wouldn't give them to me. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Social workers know that these records can give potential parents cold feet. show you something. Come here, come on. All right. All right. Put the forehead right there. All right, so you're gonna look at this. Don't move. Watch right here. This is really cool. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. Where are you going? It was... Everything all right? We're talking to your neighbors to get info on a recent crime in the area. Investigating the stabbing of a young girl. Lord have mercy. Do any of your children go to Anavar Middle School or know any students from there? My uh, daughter is in eighth grade there. And my youngest is in sixth, but I don't know his friends yet. I beg your pardon? Carl is recently adopted. Are your children home? No. Let us know if your kids see anything or you notice anything unusual. Give us a call. I will, thank you. Thank you. In Matthew 19, 14, Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Amen. Congregation, today, after the injury of our dear Lisa Tate, oh God, protect us in our fight to do right and mend the ways of those that are in the dark. Our children are our lifeblood. 
We must not give up on them. We must not give up on them. Let us anchor our peace so we can maximize our faith. So we can do the work that you have called us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Not so much? What is it, dear? I need to tell you something. The door. You want us to tell you stuff, even if it's really bad, right? When Carl and I were here alone, he tried to mess with me. Mess with you? I was in the shower, and I didn't know he was in the bathroom. He came in the bathroom with you? Did he try and touch you? He tried, but I didn't let him. I told him to get out. Then I kicked him between the legs as hard as I could. Sorry, Mama. No, I'm glad you did. You are? I am, I am furious. This is not okay. It is not okay for anyone, anyone to try and hurt you like that. I'm sorry. Why were you afraid to tell me? He threatened to kill me if I told. We need to talk. I am so angry with you, I can barely speak. Monica, what now? What? What now? You, you, and your good Samaritan crap. You, you, and your savior complex bullshit! I want you out! I want you and him out! I just think... No! You want to help him. Good. You help him somewhere else. Not here. 
Not under the same roof with my children! Ah! Hey, baby. Are you okay? Mama told me about the incident with you and Carl. I am so sorry. I didn't protect you better. I'm okay, Daddy. Thank God. I promise you, that will never happen again. No. Only for a little while. Just send Carl away. Lexi. Why do you have to go too? Sweetie, we made a commitment to Carl. And we can't just abandon your brother because he's got problems, can we? And the most important thing, baby, is that you are safe. And that you feel safe. Even while we're trying to find help for him. Jan was right. We were a perfect family before he came and ruined it. And I don't expect you to understand. After what you've been through. Sweetie, you are safe now. And I'll be right down the street. Okay. Are you sure? I guess Carl needs you too, huh? I know you're disappointed in me, but I want to let you know I'm really proud of you. You're a great son and a good brother. I got your mom a corsage on our first date. I thought you might want to give one to Carmen tonight, too. Unless that's right up there with the funky chicken. No. A corsage is cool. Take good care of your mom for me. I'm gone, okay? Which ones are his? All of them.
He was left by his mother for three days with no food or water. He was sexually abused by his mother's boyfriend, then by a foster mom. His leg was broken by one of eight foster fathers. And that's just the beginning. you so much. How are you boys doing? I'm okay. But I get the feeling Carl really misses you. Carl, your mother's here. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? Give him time, honey. You know his behavior is no reflection on you. Then why do I still feel like such a failure? I need to speak to Officer Sullivan or Newell. Are they expecting you? I'll see if they're here. What brought you here, Mrs. Williams? I, I found some things. I mean, I don't know, but I, think. Where'd you find those? The knife was missing from my kitchen and I just found it in the garden. In the garden? I was cleaning out the flower bed and I found it under the dry leaves. It is still sharp. I cut my finger when I found it. And the bracelet and collar? Where'd you find those? Mrs. Williams! Mrs. Williams! Easy or hard, I could subpoena you. Let's go back to my desk, all right? Thank you. You want your child to be accountable for his behaviors. I can't make that happen. This is tough, but if someone in your home is in trouble, we need to help them. In his room, I found them in Carl's room. They were just laying around? Under, I found them under his mattress. Carl came to us with very few things and he keeps special things hidden under there for safekeeping. What happens next? Well, we'll send it to the lab to see what we have. Mrs. Williams, you did a good thing today. Gonna move back home. Not yet, son. I know we're here because of Annika. 
She's mean. Carl, you know why we are here. Until we can work this out, we are going to stay here. Hello. Reverend Williams? Yes. I'm Officer Newell, South Officer Sullivan. May we come in? Uh, sure. Reverend Williams, we must inform you that we have a warrant for the arrest of Carl Johns Williams. What? We have uh, evidence that implicates your son in the attack on Lisa Tate. Oh, Lord. <sighs> and where exactly will you take him? Well, he'll be held at the detention center till his hearing. That's it. Let's Fuck go. you, too. I thought at least you loved me. Daddy. My son. I miss you. I miss you too. But you're here to take me home, right? How you been holding up? All right, but I really want to go home. Your mother and I have found a place that can help you. But I don't need help. Carl, we have to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. Fuck that! Calm down, Carl. Carl! Carl! You have to learn how to cope with life. Why don't you just go to hell and see how you cope with that? So glad you could join us today. Thank you. This is Sue Othmer, our clinical director here. Welcome, Monica. Thank you. Sim. Hello. Good to have you. Elizabeth's been telling me a little bit about your son. He's in a holding unit right now, is that right? Yes, he is. Yes, we don't know for how long. I'm really looking forward to talking to you about the treatment that we offer here that I think would be of value. We're very eager to hear about it. I must say that we don't really know how to begin. Well, why don't we begin by joining the group then? You're going to mm. learn a lot here. Right this way. Thank you. Motherfucker, leave me alone! Look at me, Billy. 
Sorry. I said leave me alone, bitch. My name is Kim, but maybe you're too little to speak properly. I'm gonna slap your fucking throat on your back. Not so much, but thank you for taking a deep breath. It took a lot of air for you to shout like that. Now go to your room. It's just for a 10 minute timeout, Billy. You're not taking direction and you need to think about better choices. You're not my boss. I know this is gonna shock you, sweetie, but I am your boss for today. You don't wanna leave my side? That's fantastic. I don't want you to be far from me either. So instead, I'll accept 10 minutes of strong sitting. Not sitting. I'm the boss and I'd like for you to follow directions. Goodness, kid. It seems like Billy doesn't want to mind today. Imagine that. Drop dead. Well, not quite just yet. Maybe after you sit. You know, Bob, I don't think Billy knows how to sit still. I do so. Or maybe she's just too weak to sit still for ten minutes. I am so strong, you know it. Prove it. Good choice, sweetie. Time started. Maybe you are strong enough. We'll see. As you can see, these kids don't trust anyone. They go for total control, which they can't have because they're children. You two were so calm, though. I, I could never do that. That's why we're here. Now, Dr. Logan has worked with disturbed children for 30 years. Pick her brain. Oh. Keeps her sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's hard to understand why these kids act out the way they do, isn't it? When a child and a mother have a really significant break, the child really believes it's going to die if it depends on anybody, but especially moms. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, but I don't understand why I get it all from Carl. I was not the one to abuse him. Well, that's a good question. You see, the trauma happens before the development of language. So these kids, don't have any way of explaining to themselves what happened. They, they don't understand. They can't sort out their feelings. So any mother becomes unreliable and even dangerous hmm. to them. What about fathers? Do any of you feel duped like me? Bob, you want to take that one? <laughs> Most bright and sensitive fathers, they get fooled by their kids' innocent looks and concocted stories. These children's behavior is primal. They have to be smart to survive. And once fathers begin to support their wives, these kids either get better or they're removed because their tricks no longer work. Um, why don't we start by sharing a little bit about why you're each here. Hmm? Uh, Georgia, you want to start for me? Wow. The things my son has done. Um... I'm Mike. Um, I'm his wife, Kate. My wife, Kate. <laughs> Most of you are here because you've adopted kids, but um, Patricia's problem is all my fault. He has no conscience. All of our friends stopped coming around, and um, we seriously thought about stopping the adoption process. We struggled with Cindy ever since we got her, at three months old. Three months. Three months. But within six months, she was controlling our lives. 
My feelings about my daughter, Patricia, they're, they're just really mixed up. I've yelled at her because she won't listen to her mother. She won't even look at me. Me and his dad uh, recently divorced. We just couldn't survive all the stress, so. My wife started thinking about suicide. I'm just hoping that neurofeedback can help because absolutely nothing else has. When she came home from the hospital, I just, I just couldn't even take care of her. It wasn't your fault. I, I have these feelings of guilt that are so overwhelming. Yeah. Because I've, I've felt so many times that I hated my son. I'm just so scared of him. <laughs> and I was so blinded by my spiritual arrogance that I didn't see what was happening to my wife and my family. Kids with milder forms of R.A.D., they can learn to live within the family. But those with more severe cases haven't been so successful. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. <laughs> because you, you wanted to come with us, Mama. Come on. Close your eyes, Mama. Come no. <laughs> on. Justice. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Good boy. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not ready. Oh, sure you are. Look how cute he is. We'll help with him. Oh, yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I thought you might have changed your mind about meeting me here. I carefully considered it. <laughs> Long time since our last date. Huh? <laughs> Some lifetime ago. Do you love me these days? What kind of question is that? After what I put you through. I think about him all the time. It kills me how loveless his life was. Well, you do know that one day Carl will accept your visits. I hope. I promise you. Don't do that. I don't need you to fix everything. I don't need you to save me, Zeb. I am learning to take responsibility for myself. didn't sound very romantic. Now, romance. That's what I need you for. Do you? But are you sure? <laughs> <laughs>
Willie? Where are you, baby? How did you get out? Miss me, Annika? Let go, Carl. You're scaring him. Am I scaring you? You turned me in. Say it! I just want to hear the truth once, bitch! I didn't lie. How about I love you, Carl? You never loved me. Please give me the knife. Why don't you come and get it? This is not a good plan, Carl. I'm on your side. Fucking liar! <laughs> Now, let go! No, I will never let you go. I want to help you. I don't need help! It's not true. Ah. No! Ah. I love you. <laughs> you are my son.
I feel good.